What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to a special idea. I want to have a scorpion that cannot be killed and is essentially immune over the longer course of the match. How? Uh, jaw and claw as weapons. We have three amplifiers here, which I need, which means I can't have anti-control, which is probably gonna suck later, but uh, let's see. And then the armadillo drone for the 15% resistance per kill and per beacon captured. Uh, let's see how well this is gonna work. I don't really know, but I wanna try. With the assassination playstyle of a scorpion being able to jump on, get a kill, jump back. And one more thing, ladies and gentlemen, if you end up being surprised as to how much I'm going to be able to do in this video, let's make a deal. You subscribe to this channel if you haven't done this yet. Can we make a deal? All right, so let's go for it. I'll remind you later. I think this could work really well. So the map is also pretty good here. A Dreadnought, lots of cover, lots of uh, areas to attack from and teleport onto enemies through walls. I want to get beacons, but I won't be able to make it onto this one uh, because the Orochi is going to be faster. I don't think I want to engage alone into the center beacon either. Although it doesn't look like it's just going to be a one-on-one -on -one apparently. Yeah, looks like this is like a one-on-one -on -one now. Actually, no, I, I, I'm, nope, I'm feeling firepower from behind. I felt that firepower coming in from behind, so uh, there was no, no attacking this here. So let let me try and get the kill. Yep, nice. Okay, so that is the first 15 resistance points. Here comes the next 15, because we're capturing the beacon, four to one beacon cap ratio now. All right, and uh, there's a dude coming in from here. I think this could be a good at enemy to attack. Yep, he's landed. He had his ability. I'm behind him now. I'm inside the shield too. Oh, he's gonna fly instantly again. Okay, so I'm gonna get back. Regenerate my weapons. I'm somehow locked. For some absolutely non-existing reason, I'm locked. And he's falling, so maybe we can score the kill. He's gonna get the stupid shield one more time too. One and maybe... Pop! Nice! So that is the third or fourth ability charge already. Then we're jumping on this uh, mer me uh, and this robot here. Getting in and pop! Another kill! Bam! We get more and more resistance at this point. So we end up being incredibly hard to take down. The more of these kills we're gonna get, right? Um, we already have six resistance buildups, or five. We should try and capture the beacon away from the enemy, which would grant us another one of these things. That guy, I could kill him because his ability was used. Once that thing is gone, we should be able to drop him. And boom, there goes another one. Very nice. Pretty sure, though, he's going to respawn here. I would do that now if I was him. I'm going to get myself another shield. And uh, therefore, by capturing this beacon again, seventh or eighth build up now, right? So it's it's becoming immensely difficult to kill this robot now. And and that as a scorpion that has the ability to just jump on you every time, right? He just got himself... Oh no, I was uh, stopping to fire for some reason. Okay, I was empty. He already had his ability used, so he shouldn't be able to fly for a while. Gotten another kill, nice. More shield on me. And I'm walking away from the Erebus because I'm strongest when I jump simply into his shield. He's got a powerful Devastator set up though. It's dangerous. Uh, but maybe I can go in. Drop him down to last stand. Get away from him. Get close and finish him off. Pop, 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 pop. Nice! See, and how much, dis how much HP we have. How little damage this guy is doing against me despite him having Claw and Jaw and Talon. He is doing very little damage to me. I can't kill him, though. I can't kill him. Because he's got that, refl that, that weird ability that the uh, nether robot has that protects him for a little while. But again, here, another kill for me. And then adding another build-up on the capture. Dude, I think I've, my entire life I've never done this good of a job with a scorpion. This is probably the best job I've ever done with a scorpion. 350 meters range. Let's see if we can score that kill too. From around the corner. Once that uh, resistance goes and pop! Rampage! Nice! Dude, it is such a wonderful match. Also, we're doing tremendous damage. We have so many of these immuni immunities building up on top. I'm gonna go inside his shield so I can kill him without having to worry about it. There we go. Nice. That's what the scorpion does, man. That's that's the scorpion's strength. 
not having to worry about stupid shields, just hopping inside and doing it this way. Another shield on me, which also, by the way, restores some of my durability. His, uh, his stealth isn't really working against me. Oh no, come on. Aiming problem here. Okay. I only have two shots left. I'm not sure if this is enough for the kill. Yes, it was enough for the kill. Teleport back. Behind the enemy. Nice. He's looking for me though. He's looking for me. And more and more damage. Pop! Dude, what the heck? Let's see if we can grab the beacon as well to get yet another restore. Yes! Dude. Oh my goodness. How many accelerations or how many of these boosts do we have now? It is completely crazy. This guy just landed. Dude, at this point, the only things that can deal damage to me are Titan weapons. I don't think any anything else can really damage me. Teleporting back, that was a Titan and I don't want to get hit by it too much. Yes, I walked out of the range. Oh man, I walked out of the co connector range from the uh, Indra Titan. That up there is my, uh, my target. He just flew, so we should be able to jump on him and get him. Wait a minute, it's a Titan! I didn't know it was a Titan! I thought that was uh, the other dude. Bro, I thought that was like a, a, a moo, no, 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 a, a harpy or so. I didn't think it was gonna be a nether titan, an aether titan, I mean. Okay, getting more shields on me. I can absorb a lot of firepower from, from him with these shields, especially from the blinding weapons. Teleporting behind him. We might be able to do something against him here. Okay, then uh, in my reload, getting back behind him again. He's gonna start to fly. Look, I'm even able to fire and kill a Titan now. Even the Titan can't beat me anymore. Uh, probably because his weapons aren't fully maxed, therefore leaving me with, uh, with the ability to uh, use my reflect or resistance. More shield on me. Teleporting on him. This is the best job I've ever done in my life with a Scorpion. By far, man. Oh, no, he also has those lame shotguns. Ah. Oh, and I can't teleport back anymore. I, I missed the time window. Uh-oh. He's coming. Okay, I got back up. Nice. More ti No, it's not a Titan. It's the, uh, the, uh, the Mars robot up there. But I can hit him. I think I just captured the beacon with my team. Oh, wait a minute. That was a weird thing. Activating extra resistance here with the uh, every time we activate healing we also get additional resistance points Do you notice how no matter how much I shoot at this uh, at this um, Mars? I'm never gonna go through his shield and even though I'm inside of him now But you also see how he can't kill me, right? You can see you can see it man He was firing at me everything he's got and he was like why am I not doing damage to this person? And the answer is simple because you can't Boom! Before his explosion, I got him. And I'm recapturing the beacon, getting yet more riff and more of these uh, defense systems. I don't know how much resistance I have at this point, man, but it's it becomes near impossible to kill me. Something is shooting into my left flank. I don't understand how. Ah, okay, he says a dude up there. Getting inside his shield here for a sec. And he's slowed, so I can stay behind him. Look. Drop down to last stand. Nice. And these weapons also deal so much damage. Reloading. And even if he does attack me now, I'm still having mad resistance. He's not really doing any damage to me. Dude, this is nuts. I'm reloading the weapon one lot more time, then we're gonna jump on him. See if we can beat these guys. Inside his shield. Ooh, he gets restores like crazy, man. Okay, getting behind cover for a sec. Multiple opponents on me. Suppressed too. I'm suppressed, which is really bad. I think I'm gonna die now, but I'm gonna take him with me. Bam! And still, my 20,000 HP, they feel like, for these enemies, my 20,000 HP feel like 80,000 or more. No, it, it feels like 200,000 at this point. Uh, we're gonna lose this battle, dude. Oh, man, after all of this, really? After all this, we're gonna lose. Oh, jeez, that's really sad. 
10,000 HP and they're just... A Titan is a joke about this. Look at this. It just takes so much to kill me. I don't even know how to title this video. We only did 6.5 million damage because it's after all, we're only using two medium and one light weapon. But we've gotten 17 kills. Six beacon caps. So 15 resistance for every single one of these actions. That would be uh, 17, 23, 23 by 15. So we have an altogether resistance of 345 defense points. That's more than any Titan has. Much more. And on top of that, when we activate the ability, we get more resistance as well with the Scorpion. And then when we activate healing, we get another 80% or 40 defense points, depending on how I fitted that drone. So I think we're running with far more than 450 something resistance on this scorpion and that therefore you can see why my remaining 100,000 HP at the later fourth of the match for the enemy this may have been like 1 million or 2 million HP that I had altogether only those 100,000 that I had left what a beast setup and I'm glad I was able to survive with it ultimately almost until the very end. So the whole purpose and the idea behind this video worked really well. Unfortunately, despite my best efforts, we lost the match in the end. But dude, that was not what the video was about. Um, it was about building a scorpion that assassinates everyone on the map and just cannot be taken down. At the end, even Titans didn't stand a chance anymore. And then also remember, we have, and that's something I forgot to mention in the in the beginning, we also have the Northlight battleship that provides us with a durability uh, uh, support, with the uh, du uh, durability extender that gives us resist a maximum HP back every time I use it, and I use it a lot. Plus the, uh, you know, the Aegis and the shield system and the heal back and so on, right? My goodness, what a wonderful match that has been. Um, tell, by far the best thing I've ever done with a Scorpion. By far. They, they, never been able to perform like that before. Wow. And that was the purpose of the video. I'm so glad that this worked out. So thank you all for watching. And remember also our little bet I made in the beginning. If you were surprised about how much I was able to do with this scorpion, then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. All right? Um, and uh, yeah, have a great time. See you in the next video. Manny signing off. Bye-bye.